What's up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. I, I definitely didn't fart. Still like straight butthole in here. <laughs> I've been vlogging so much at night. I like majority of my posts are at night. I'm so sorry, guys. My buddy Martin with the super extremely loud GT4 decides to uh, hit me up, and he was like, "Let's do something." So I was like, "All right, we'll come on this cruise with us." So that's what we're doing. We're picking up Martin right now. He just picked up the GT4, and he's about to uh, pull it out. This thing must look familiar to you guys. Hi, buddy. We're ready to go, buddy. I'll follow you to a gas station. Headphone users, right now. This is your warning. This is one of my favorite and non-favorite cars to be next to. The noises are crazy. Just listen to it. But it is so ear-piercingly loud. Like, it's almost like too much. It is too much. Way too much. Drowns out the sound of my own car. <laughs> Wow. That's he didn't even get on yeah, it. Yeah, he didn't get on it. Hi, buddy. Dude. Hold up. Because we have this up, as you guys know, Dane here got a way cleaner NA, mm -hmm. and he got a real turbo in there. Not an eBay turbo. It's a Garrett. Garrett. Specifically, which Garrett? 2860R. This thing is fast. Bulb. Tell us. Tell us a little bit about what's done, buddy. So it's got the same Evo injectors from Piper. familiar with that. Other than that, it's on the stage three clutch from the other Miata too. Garrett side mount on a log manifold. And then it actually has a flying Miata downpipe and then some other stuff done. Not running a boost controller right now, so it's hitting 12 pounds and cutting. <laughs> But that's scary. It just needs to get tuned. Still have to do a bunch of stuff. My head gas can blow any second. When's the tune coming? Hopefully next week, like after I get back from my trip. See, I don't even know that, guys. I'm like genuinely asking him when the tune's coming. We've been talking about it. I have no clue. So that's exciting. And once he has a tune, look like he, I'm being completely honest with you. On no E85, he keeps up with me with a boost cut. It, like he he cuts and then I get away. But that's because he can't go past a certain RPM. So once this thing is tuned, it's gonna be a whole different animal. I'm super excited to see it on rolls and. Uh, let's give you a crazy car, guys. Just stay tuned for it. He's excited. Everyone's excited. John's excited. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's do it. guys from yesterday i hit some kid up today on offer up about some turbos some stage two pure high flows he was selling the turbos for like a really killer deal he was really transparent with me he let me know what happened his buddy owned them first unfortunately the dude got rear-ended and the car was declared a total loss so i don't even know if these turbos are gonna work or not which means i'll have to get a rebuild it is a little scary but Regardless, the kid that I'm working with here on this deal has been super kind, super transparent. It's pretty exciting because if these turbos do work, guys, I mean, hey, that is way less money that I have to spend on a whole new turbo setup. They're stage two pure high flows, which are rated for like 700 or 750. I don't know off the top of my head. We're on our way to Reseda right now. We'll be there in like 45 minutes. We got the turbos. It was kind of a fast thing. Really cool kid. Um, his name is Steven. It's actually my name but his name is in English and my name's in Spanish. Fun fact, the next move is to go straight to Precision Dynamics and talk to these guys about, um, you know, potential rebuild. If I send them out to pier and uh, we could get this whole thing done because that would be ideal. Live updates from the car. First and foremost, I shaved my face and I feel so much cleaner. And I also look like a little boy. First update of the day, guys, turbos, we're good. I had Oslon from Precision Dynamics look over the turbos in person. 
The only reason I didn't vlog that was because they were super busy. So I kind of just ran in, showed them the turbos, took off. Oslan looked at them, gave me the green light. Then he took the turbos to Mike to show them real quick. Mike gave me the green light. Arlen gave me the green light. And the green light is for them to be rebuilt. So you should be expecting some really crazy things happening with this 135i soon. A lot of you are going to ask me what happened to single turbo. That's still happening. But I just want to get the best of both worlds on single turbo power and twin turbo power, but upgraded twins. I'm excited to see the power it makes, see how it drives. And just, you know, it's gonna be a whole different car, but that's not it guys today We are on our way to fuel suspension for this guy. That's also what I'm putting in my car I'm getting some new fuel suspension to replace the KW's that I currently have on it. So that's gonna be really cool We're gonna be doing this again. I don't know. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just ship them Maybe I'll ship them. I don't yeah. know. Probably just get them shipped, but uh, we'll see you over there guys little detour We're off-roading now. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where we are. <laughs> he pulls over literally off the highway and he's like, I'm intrigued. And now we're on a dirt road in a stock forerunner, mind you. Boom, stock, oh, 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 we just went through a whoop section. Oh! 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 This is awesome! We're sideways! I need to take potty break. Okay. Yeah! Ah, he's going pee pee. That was wild. That was, that was not expected. I'm literally sitting there. This guy's like pulling off the freeway. I'm like, okay, we're about to be here. And then we're on a dirt road and we're off roading like we're in the Baja 1000 in a stock forerunner. Rear wheel drive. Ugh. We're going to go back down the way we came and uh, get some more off roading and then we're going to hit fuel. Whose road? <laughs> Look at this road. Oh my gosh. Oh, is that doable? Oh my God. He's doing it. He's doing it. Oh. That one was a little brutal. <laughs> Cole always finds himself in a pickle. As long as radiator's not poked, I think we're good. Did it help you? I think we're good. Well, we're okay. I think that's probably the sign that we're going to turn around and get out of here. Where was it? Dude, you stuffed it. So the went, whoosh, boom! Right there. Oh. The I far way was that I did not want to get stuck right here. <laughs> oh my gosh. So now do we go back this way or do we find another I think way? that if you slowly come down here, I just don't want to get stuck. And then you pin it, we're going to be fine. <laughs> if we get stuck, we're <laughs> We won't get oh. stuck. No, we're going to be fine. That was rowdy, Cole. Why do you do this, man? Oh my gosh, there's dust on my foot. <sighs> he hit that so hard. Just look at how heavy that is down there. Look at how steep that is. So I think we found our way back, guys. So we're gonna see you guys at fuel suspension when we pick up this stuff. And, uh, and we're done off-roading here. Are you ready, buddy? We're here. We made it uh, out to fuel suspension, as you guys can see, it's right here. We pulled up to this one series right here, and apparently it's making like a lot of power. That's what uh, John Claude and Chicken told me actually when they came here. They said that they talked to the guy who owned the car apparently, and uh, apparently it's like really gnarly. It makes like six something, so that's really sweet. We made it back home. This guy's got his coils in his hands. We're gonna go open these things up. Cole's never had real suspension before. Oh. Look at that box. Very cool. What is knife? I found knife. Oh, Steel, baby. Look at those things. Those are fronts. Oh my god, I love it. So there you have it, guys. Fuel suspension for the E30. That being said, I'm 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 wrapping it up here. I'm uh, I'm tired. 
and uh, we had a long day of off-roading <laughs> and picking up suspension and breaking suspension and <laughs> all this cool stuff. So guys, I'm uh, taking off. If you did enjoy this video, don't hesitate, all right? Like, comment, subscribe, please. I need your help. Hit those bell notifications as always so you guys know when I post videos and uh, we'll see you soon. All right, later guys. Thank you.